everybody welcome back to my channel um i'm gonna do a currently checked out like i don't have enough books to read um i had to go to the library and bring some books back today and today they just seemed to jump into my bag they wanted to be read so i couldn't say no so i picked up disappearance at devil's rock by paul, paul tremblay um i tried looking for the other book of his um a head full of ghosts and it wasn't there so i decided to pick this one up i've heard mixed about it but it's a good horror i think so or suspense thriller so i got that one the floor. this book i've been wanting to reread it for quite a while and it's actually one of the first books that made me cry as a teenager or because i read it when it first came out um but the other book like when i was a kid charlotte's web made me cry but this is the one as a teenager that kind of made me cry I don't remember much from the story though so I decided to pick it up and it's Daniel Steele's message from Nam I just remember crying that's all I remember and it's Vietnam so I want to reread that and then I've had this on my TBR I don't know for how long or much about it um, I don't know if it's a spy it has to do with Soviet Union though um, an idealistic security officer and citizens live free from crime and fear only one thing the all-powerful state so child 44 by Tom Rob Smith so if you've read it let me know um, I know somebody on here has read it and said it was really good I just can't remember who because it's been a while um, I don't even know when it was published 2011 yeah 2011 so I thought I'd give that a shout or a show give that a try oh one of the top thrillers of all time okay and then a cup um this one I didn't take this in high school um like we have two levels in high school it was general and advanced and this was one of the advanced classes and I dropped down to general after a while because it was just it's getting too much but people studied this in I think grade 12 English and it was a clockwork orange by anthony burgess and i've never read it i've seen the movie a couple times it's one of my husband's favorite movies go figure um but yeah so i figured i'd give it a try and it looks like it's done in play style yeah it's a play i never really realized that and then there's a bunch of music at the end so should be really quick and easy to get through and then i grabbed um, it just sounded really interesting. It was um, Guillermo del, del Toro, The Strain. I don't know if he co-wrote it with Chuck Hogan or what. Um, but it's um, a plane gets to a runway and stops but doesn't open the doors because there's like this plague or strain going around. So a virus, major virus. So we will see how that goes the other two are cozy mysteries um, I just seen them sitting there and I thought ah, oh, I'm in the mood for kind of crime thriller sort of deal sort of um, along with my romance and so I grabbed curiosity thrilled the cat by Sophie Kelly and it's book one in a magical cat's mystery so there's that I don't know much about it two strays will nuzzle their life their way into her life so of course it's going to be a murder mystery whatever that's usually what cozy mysteries are and there's a hair that's driving me nuts here oh there it got her. and the last one is spell booked a retired witch's mystery and it's the first book and it's by joyce and jim levine and i've just recently come across them so i was happy to grab it i think it's a husband and wife um series or co-written books or authored co-authored tired um so yeah i grabbed this one so i all i gather is a bunch of witches that are retired and oh bulk of her time even nicer so that is my currently checked out i already still have way too many books out from the library we won't even discuss that so let me know if you read any of these books um what you thought of them same yada yada um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later bye